Today's tutorial is on using JAWS Screen Reader with Microsoft Excel. If you are a disability support specialist, you may be called upon to train blind or visually impaired students on how to use JAWS with Excel. Lesson 6, Formulas and Data References. We have three tabs here. One is called Totals, one is West Sales Results, and the other is East Sales Results. Here in my totals, I already have the results from the West Sales Results page showing up. Now that data is already formatted and it's all ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to the West Sales Results page down with Control. Sheet tab West Sales Results. West Sales Results. And you see that the do content dollar dollar five thousand two for the quarter totals has been transferred over into the other sheet total. So I want to do the same type of information transfer from East Sales results. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch page again by pressing control page down. Sheet tab East Sales Result. East Sales re Now I don't have any formulas in here and what I'm going to do is show you how easy it is to put a formula in. So here in the B column I'm going to figure the total for the first quarter. Basically all I have to do is press Alt Ribbon H H and then up here in the right you see it says auto sum so I'm gonna press the, the letter U for auto sum U menu leaving menus and after I press enter it puts in the formula equals sum lepren B2 colon B4 so the colon is meaning through so B2 through B4 is added up and I press enter enter land B6 and now I have the results for the first quarter. Now if I go up to the same cell B5 $3, and hold down the shift key and press right arrow select 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 E5 and then press control R control R it adds the formula to those columns for the quarter's total. Now let's go and do the same thing for F2 for the yearly item total. So I'm going to move my cursor. Dollar eight thousand dollar dollar six land F land F land F land F2 to F2. And what we're going to do here is we're going to type the formula because the person who's learning how to do these functions would probably learn this as well. And I'm going to type equal and then sum then the parenthesis and I'm going to put B2 colon E2 close parenthesis and then enter now I have moved back to F2 and I'm going to hold down the shift key and go select, down arrow select F4. and press control D for down. Control D. Now we have one more thing to take care of and that is the averages. The way to get to the average if you don't type it is to press the Alt H. Alt H. And Upper then group box. you're going to press U for auto sum. U. And then you're going to go down arrow to average. Average. Alt followed by H. Enter. Leaving menus. Land. Type and text. And the problem with this is that the formula, it says B2 colon F2 because it's taken in the total and that will skew the average a great deal. So we need to hit backspace Left parent. and type it in ourselves. So it's going to be B2 B two two colon, colon E2 e two. Two. and then press enter. Enter land G3. So you have to be careful with these formulas because they will pick up items like totals and foul up your calculation. So let me move back to G2. Dollar four thousand. And press shift key and down arrow. Select select G4. And then press Control D again. Control D. And it's figured the averages. Now how do we get the information from our totals for quarters one, two, three, and four into the first sheet? Let's switch back to it. I'm going to press Control, page up. Sheet tab, West Sales, Sheet tab, totals, totals, region. And now I'm going to move up to B3. Sales, Q, dollar, land, B3. 
and I want to put in the first quarter sales for the east. So I'm going to press the equal sign. Land, type of text, type. Then I'm going to press Control page down. Sheet tab, sheet tab east sales result. Till I get to the east sales results. Then I'm going to move down till I find myself at the quarter total for quarter one. And I press enter. Enter sheet tab totals B1. Dollar eight thousand. Now what's great about this is that I can look at the formula that was put in there. However, someone who is using JAWS isn't going to be able to do it the way a sighted person would do it. So what you notice is when I press up arrow, $3, it tells me the location of the data which is in the cell, which is in the east sales result. And what I want is to be able to know what the formula is and a person who's blind is going to have to do it using a keystroke. So what they're going to do is they're going to use their numerical keypad where they use the commands with JAWS and they're going to press insert, control, and F2. Equals east sales result, B5. And, and you hear that it read that formula. Now I can go back to C3. C1. Land C3. And I can press the equal sign again. Land type of text. Then I press control page down twice. Sheet tab with sheet tab east sales result. And I'm going to go to the C column and go down to the quarter total and press enter. Enter sheet tab totals C1. Dollar now you notice that those bits of data were not reading with JAWS. And that's because I had quieted JAWS. Let's go and do it without JAWS being quieted in the D3. D1. I'm going to press the equal sign. Land, type of text, type of the formula and press enter. Then I'm going to press control page down. Sheet tab, west, sheet tab east sales result. Then I'm going to press control home so I get up to the A1 cell. First cell, land. And you notice it doesn't read. So how would a blind person get to the D5 result? Well, what they're going to do is they're going to press the Alt key and H. Alt H. And they're going to press FD. FD. Then they're going to press G to go to the specific cell, which we know is D5. D, leaving menus, go to dialog, reference code UD. And it was D5, so I press enter. 5, enter, sample workbook 2, land. And that is how someone who uses JAWS would get to the specific cell reference, which was D5. And then they press enter. Enter, the tab totals D1. And it puts that content in there. Now I can also do one more thing, which is to go back to the sales for quarter three and hold down the shift key and press right arrow. Select E3. And transfer the same code from the D3 reference to the E3 reference by pressing Control R. Control R. Okay, so that is basically the way formulas are handled by someone using JAWS, and I hope you have enjoyed the lesson.